It's been decades in the making. The city of Omaha announcing a $500 million plan that is expected to bring life back to Crossroads Mall at the corner of 72nd and Dodge. Good evening, I'm Kent Lutzen. In for Jennifer Griswold tonight, Mayor Gene Stothard says it will be a team effort with the city and two developers to rebuild the heart of Omaha. After years of planning, Omaha Mayor Gene Stothard says the time is now for an awakening of Crossroads Mall near 72nd and Dodge. I've been mayor seven years. We've been working on it that long as me mayor, but we've been working on it a lot longer than that. And we've had different uh, designs and different renditions of it. But this is the one that I think we all feel is going to be the winner. The city, along with Lockwood Development and Century Development, will demolish most of the buildings on the 40-acre plot of land, only keeping Target and a parking garage. They will replace it with retail shops, restaurants, a hotel, office space, apartments, and even a family fun zone. I want a legacy development for this corner of the city of Omaha, and I'm glad Chip is partnering with me to bring about this vision. So let's get going. Well, we wanted to feel there wants to be something here for everyone in Omaha. So we want live, work, and play. The price tag? $500 million. Stothard says the city will use $12.5 million of redevelopment bonds to help pay for infrastructure costs. Omaha residents say it's about time this area gets an upgrade. Sounds pretty exciting, you know, on its face there to get some fresh development, especially in, you know, one of the busiest intersections in town to have just nothing there is just a killer for the city. To have, you know, fresh stuff in here sounds great. Maybe like a bowling alley or a movie theater or um, skate park. a skate park, an indoor skate park would be really cool. The developers and the city have been in talks with potential tenants, but nothing is set in stone yet. Some of you who remember the original Crossroads will remember the slogan, that all roads lead to the crossroads. And that was true 60 years ago, and that is certainly still true today. Now, there are still not a lot of details. I mean, pardon me, there still are a lot of details that need city approval, and plans are sure to change. Now, the city plans to break ground this October with a finishing date of 2024.